Greetings, everyone. On this day, I forgot to film an intro about what we were going to do, but on this day, we were setting the glue lamb beams in the living room area. I had Gary, Mark, Mike, and Wyatt all helping me that day. I wasn't really sure how things were going to go, and I wanted to have lots of help there. So at times, you might see us stand around, but, you know, I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of help just, just to get these beams up in the air. So right now the guys are squaring everything up and making sure the measurements are right for cutting the beams, uh, getting the posts all nice and plumb. On this side where Gary's up on the ladder, we had to set a post inside the wall for the glue lamb to sit on. Here we are using Gary's uh, Takauchi excavator to move these glue lambs. It could pick up a little bit more weight than my tractor and it, it's a lot more maneuverable because it's a track vehicle plus having that uh, boom and the pivot and the extra swing of the boom it just made things easier moving these uh, glue lambs around so we're going to bring them around to the front door and then uh, work them in toward the living room I had some chunks of two inch ABS pipe left over from when I was roughing in the plumbing. So I cut those up and we were able to use those kind of as rollers. And we rolled the beam into the living room. And then we were able to kind of scooch it around from there. The beams weren't so heavy that we couldn't pick up one end at a time and move it around, but uh, it was a lot easier just to put them on those rollers uh, to get it across the floor. Right now we're setting it up on 6x6 six six blocks to get the, uh, the lift under it, and there we're setting it. Uh, I borrowed uh, one of those um, high lifts, or I'm not sure what you call them, LKs or something like that from uh, performance heating and air and we were able to use that to lift the beams it was right at the weight limit of those beams and uh, but it sure made it a lot easier than you know a handful of us trying to push those things up ladders and whatnot so this beam that went across it sits in that corner post and then it also sits in the corner of that shear wall right there and after we put it up in the air we we realized where it comes where the two glue lamps come together in the corner there was a big gap between the two glue lamps because of the bracket is about a quarter inch or more thick so we had to bring that one back down and uh, mark notched out the uh, bottom of that glue lamp for us and then we were able to send it back up and it fit nicely. So that's kind of the update for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.